Hello guys, today I want to show you how to program your own drum patterns into your Roland TR707 drum computer. Um, first thing to do is switch the unit on. Its standard, standard mode is track play. So we go to pattern, you don't have to do this to program it, but um, to show you just that there are some patterns in here. Okay, there's, there are no ones. Okay, so um, to program your patterns now, you have to, after switching it on, you don't have to um, choose any mode here. You, don't, you just have to switch it on, press shift, uh, hold shift, and press the step tap button. Previously, um, just, yeah, okay. Just choose the first pattern and before. So, okay. Hold shift and press step or tap. And as you can see, it changes from pattern play. I don't know if you can see it. It changes from pattern play to step right and tap right. Step right is the mode where you can uh, use the sequencer buttons to put in your drums like you would do on a, yeah, like you would do it with your sequencer on your computer or whatever and um, the tap mode is meant for playing the drums like with a drum pad controller while recording the sequence okay I'd show you how to do this first we delete the pattern what's, which is in here um, you, you need to be in one of the two step right or uh, in one of the two right modes to delete the pattern I'm choosing step right first, okay. So then in stop mode you have to stop it first. It's it needs to be stopped or it doesn't work like that. Uh you have to press clear and then the pattern button. So you can see the pattern is empty now. Okay. Um yeah. Step right mode is active. Okay, so you you then press play. It's, as you can see it's playing. And then you choose your instrument. By you do this by holding the instrument button, and yeah, I'd like to put in the bass drum first, so that I have kind of a metronome here. So let's do this. Okay, bass drum's there. Now you can put in some claps. Press the instrument button and. Uh, hold the instrument button and press cla hand clap. Okay. Stand out hand claps here. <coughs> okay. <coughs> now we choose um, hi hats, I think. Okay. Choose the open head um, instrument and open. Okay. So this is the step right mode, but you can also use the tap right mode. I'm just showing you by programming a new height line. First, I'm going to clear this. Okay, instrument guide. Okay. I think you can do this with the clear button too. Nope, that's, that's just in the tap right. Okay, so um, this you can change the, the the you can change between step and tap right while playing. Normally, to activate the mode, you have to press stop. But to change between the two modes, you can can do it while it's playing. So we hold shift and press the step tap button again. So now you can see it's in tap right mode. So now to delete the hi-hats we just I just put in. I just hold the clear button here and hold the instrument. And it deleted the hi-hats. Delete the claps too. You can see it in the display too here. Holding the clear button and 
holding the clap button. Okay, it's gone. So, now that we're in tap, tap mode, I'm gonna show you how to yeah, just tap some drums in. Deleting the last, the last mid tone. I don't like this. So we only have the low tone here. Okay. And putting in some more hi hats. Programmed it crash in here. Yeah, okay. You get the idea. Um, what else? You can you can use the flam mode, but only on two snare drums and the three toms. I show you right away. Just a moment. Just let me clear the toms again. Uh, holding the clear button. See, it's gone on the display. So, to use the flam mode, I just put, the light, uh, put down the volume a bit here. Okay, to use the flam mode, you hold in. It's only possible in tap right mode, I believe. I haven't managed to get it done in step right mode. Maybe it's maybe you can do it, but I don't know how. Um, to do it in tap right mode, you just um, yeah. Hold the shuffle a uh, flam button and then just play in your instrument like you would do normally. So maybe you can hear it. The drums are kinda kinda roll when you when you record it with flam. And it also works for the snares. This here. Okay. Uh, I don't know why it's recorded this one now. Okay. <laughs> But you get the idea. Um, holding the flam button again. Uh, okay. This unit is about three, 30 years old and uh, it's not working perfectly every time, but mainly it does. Okay. Now we got the snares with the flam. And that's pretty much it. Okay, if we want to make a new pattern, um, you can't just uh, change your pattern while it's playing. You have to press stop. Okay, it's stopped. And then you can just choose your pattern and press play again. Uh, start. Empty pattern here, empty pattern here. This one. So. So you see, you can only pr and, uh, either pro either program your patterns or be in play mode to change between them. Roland didn't think of live programming back then, I think. So okay, I should 
I'm just making another one here. This is, that's, that's the one I just made. So, just made a new one. Um, trying the step right mode again, I guess. Okay. Press play. So now it's in step right mode and you can choose your instrument and set your steps. Input a snare. Rim shot. That's not gonna work. Ah, okay. I just where I just wanted to tap it. Uh, choose rim shot. Okay. Choose clap. Okay, now we got another pattern. Um, some highlights here. Okay, I think that's enough. So, and now if you want to sync all this shit to, let's say, your computer or anything else. In this case I have synced my uh, Roland TR707 with a computer, my Xbox box with a computer and I'm gonna go into sync mode to um, yeah to have it running in sync with my other devices. To do this you're gonna need uh, press stop. Uh, you need to be in stop mode. Okay, it is in stop mode now. Then you hold shift and Press sync mode. Ah, okay, you, you need to be in track play mode beforehand. Okay, change that. And now it should work. Sync, uh, shift, and sync mode. So now you can see there's an SD in the in the display. We need to change it uh, to SM or N or I think it's an M. Press it pre three times, and now you're gonna see the the M for MIDI, I think. Uh, the other ones are for DinSync and stuff, I, I guess. I don't have the stuff here to try it. But okay, now it should be in sync mode. Now you, uh, tempo, the tempo knob doesn't work uh, anymore now, and you can start it with pressing play on your sequencer. I've, uh, as, you, as I said, I've uh, synced it to Ableton. What's going on here? I don't know. Ah, okay, you you have to get out of the sync mode menu afterwards, I guess. To do this, we're gonna go into pattern mode. No? Alright. I think that's how it works. Okay, pattern mode. Pressing play. Yeah, okay, it's running. And now we can switch between our patterns we just recorded. So, and now we also can let it run in sync with, now it's also running in sync with my other machines. Turn it to Zoxbox here.
So yeah, that's pretty much it. I guess you get the idea. If not, write me a comment. I'd be happy to answer your questions anytime. So, um, yeah, that's it. See you guys. Ciao.